mind is I read a, a statistic a while ago that the average person in North America makes 2,000 choices every single day, which seems like a lot until you start to think about the fact that there are so many choices that we make, we do them so often, we don't think about them being a choice because they've become a habit. I mean, you don't think about which side of the bed you're going to get off of. Especially if your bed's up against a wall, you only make that choice once. Like, oh, that was a really bad choice. Um, I'm not doing that one again. You don't think about which sock you're going to put on first. You don't think about which pant leg you're putting on first. This morning, you probably woke up and bleary-eyed, stumbled downstairs, and you open the cupboard, and you get out a bowl, and you get a spoon, and you get milk and cereal. You turn on the coffee machine. You get some orange juice. You start, you've made like 12 choices. You're not even awake yet. These things add up, so many choices. But my question for you is, and what I want you to think about, is what are some of the other choices that we are making through the course of every single day? Those 2,000 choices, they add up. They start to become part of who we are. They weigh us down. And we carry them with us. And, and, and it, it, it becomes negative, and it becomes this, this thing that starts to define us. When I think about choices and I think about attitude, I, strangely, I think about sports that I played when I was a kid. I, I didn't play much sports, actually, when I was a kid. But I grew up, our house, we had a pond right beside us. It would freeze over in the winter, and we, we, everybody would be out there shoveling out rinks. We'd play hockey. And I played a little bit of that, like, little league soccer, which was basically, let's throw a ball out there and let them run around and kill each other. It was, it was brave hard. It was insane. But we, 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 I played a little bit of soccer, and I played a little bit of hockey. I stunk at both of these games. I was not good. My entire strategy in both soccer and hockey was this. I'm just going to wait here by the net. Somebody's going to pass to me. I'm going to score. It's going to be awesome. That was my whole plan, literally. I can't tell you how many goalies I had through the course of my life that would lean over to me and go, um, dude, you're so offside right now. And I would go, what's offside? I don't even know. But that was my whole plan. Wait for the game to come to me and then I'll score and be the hero and it'll be awesome. This is, this is my plan and so many people through the course of our lives, especially when we talk about the attitude that we carry, that's the way they play it. I'm gonna wait for good things to come to me. I'm gonna wait for happiness to come to me. People speak about happiness and being positive and good things in their lives like they're a gift, like it's something that's just gonna be presented to you on a silver platter, not the way life works. You want happiness, you want good things, you want to enjoy the experiences you have in high school and in this life, go get in the game. You're gonna have to get a little bruised, you may get kicked in the shins a couple of times, but that's okay, it's worth it.